genetic crosses that involve two traits, biology 2A. So in this one we're going to look at when an inorganism inherits two traits that are located on separate chromosomes, what we call unlinked traits. Um, and so if you get into linked, it gets a little more complicated. We're just going to go with this for right now. So in rabbits, gray hair is dominant to white hair. Also in rabbits, black eyes are dominant to red eyes. These letters represent the genotypes of the rabbit, and they give us a nice little key there. So if we go down to question one, what are the phenotypes, descriptions of rabbits that have the following genotypes? So if we have the big G, little G, little B, little B. So we really look at these independently. The big G, little G is, um, if we come up to our key, is gray hair. So gray hair. And little B, little B over here is red eyes. So this one will be inheriting red eyes. If you go down to the next one, you have little littles across the board. Um, so little little is white hair with red eyes. And then little little big big. Our littles again uh, would be white hair. And our big B big B is black eyes. And big little is gray hair. And with big little in the eyes would be black eyes. So really simple filling out those four. And those are important because down here we get a whole lot more complicated. So in this one, um, a male rabbit with genotype big G, big G, little b, little b is crossed with a female rabbit with a genotype little g, little g, big b, little b. The square is set up below. Fill it out and determine the phenotypes and proportions of the offspring. Now, filling out squares like these are actually a bit of a nightmare. And um, one of the nice things for you guys when you take exams is most of the time it's going to be multiple choice and we don't ask you to fill this out from scratch. But if you ever were to, um, what we do is we look at in this type of cross, um, is what are all the possible combinations. And so since our um, male rabbit is big G, big G, uh, every possible thing that he could donate to his offspring are those big Gs. And since he's homozygous recessive on the smaller trait, the other trait too, they're all little bees over here. Um, with the female rabbit though, she's um, little G, little G, so all the offspring, all the possible combinations are little Gs. And then big B, little B. And so this means we could have the odds of big, little big, little big, or little, 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 little. And uh, that's how we come out with that. Now when we write these out, we look at all the combinations. So here we have big G, little g, big B, little b, as being our first possible genotype. Um, the next one, big little big little again and um, you would go on through here so if we keep heading down you'd have big uh, little big little down here you would have big little and then you'd have little little so go ahead and fill out your square when you have that all done you're going to come over here and how many out of 16 have gray fur and black eyes so to have gray fur and black eyes let's look at our possible genotypes um, for the gray fur, it can be big G, li big big, or big little. For the black eyes, it can be big B, big B, or big little. So you're going to come back over to this square once you have it all filled out and count the number that you see. And so like already right here, and if you want to, you can write it in here, the big G, little G would be our gray and big little would be black, that would count as one. And you would keep going to find those. We want just the raw number out of 16 for this particular one. So I have the key at the front. Once you're done, you can come on up and check your answers.